Hi everyone, again it's me your math teacher Jello for today's video. Let's discuss about standard normal distribution and empirical rule. If the mean is equal to 0 and the standard deviation is equal to 1, then the normal distribution is a standard normal distribution. So guys dito, dapat uh, para maging standard normal distribution, yung value ng mean natin ay equal to 0 at yung value ng SD natin or standard deviation dapat ay equal to 1. Okay, kung mapapansin natin dito guys sa uh, uh, bell shape natin or normal curve. So, sa center, we have 0. So, ito ay standard normal distribution. Okay, and ito, we have 1 standard deviation away from the mean to the right and to the left. Uh, above the mean and also below the mean. So, puro 1 yung distances. Yung distance ng bawat isa. Okay, so yung 0 dito guys, it represents the mean. Okay, so this is the symbol for mean, right? Yung mu. And uh, 1, 2, 3, as well as negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So these are the distances of standard deviation away from the mean. Okay? So, let's move on to empirical rule. Okay, so dito naman guys, um, every normal curve, regardless of its mean or standard deviation, confirms the following empirical rule and it is also called 68, 95, and 99.7. Okay, so dito guys, meron tayong uh, normal curve. So, sa center natin, we have a uh, mean right, which is 0. Okay, so with the use of empirical rule, okay, let's solve. So, from, from the mean, okay, 1 standard deviation above the mean and below the mean so this is 68.268 percent okay so i think natin 68 95 99.7 okay na empirical rule na tinatawag natin okay so um so one standard away yan so from zero from the mean so two standard away so hanggang to yon guys positive two and negative two so guys, ito ay 95.45% Okay? So by the way, uh, class, uh, dito sa 68.268 So itong region na to is for 68.268% So kung hahatiin natin yan guys sa dalawa kasi ito yan guys uh, to the right and to the left. So, 68.268 divided by 2. This becomes 34.134%. Okay? So, ganun din dito. Kasi nga, diba, symmetrical? So, 34.134%. Okay. So, dito naman, sa 95.45, so, ito yon. So, ito sila. So, kasama to. Ibig sabihin, magsusubtract lang tayo dito. So, 95.45% minus 68.268%. So, that is equal to, very good, 27.182. And then, divide natin sa dalawa para makuha natin yung, uh, yung percentage nito. That is equal to, very good, 13 0.591% So, ganun din sa kabila Kasi nga, symmetrical sila Remember sa definition Okay So, 13.591% And of course From the mean Okay 3 standard away Okay, so hanggang 3 na yon guys So, ito ay tinatawag natin 99.73 Okay So 99.73% Okay So by the way guys So 68.268% So yung chance that an event will happen in this region Okay So nandun siya naglalay And yung 95.45% naman Within 2 standard deviation Okay So the percentage will be 95.45% and within three standard deviations, 
from the mean, okay, so hanggang dito, to the right and to the left. So, ibig sabihin, so it's going to be 99.73%. So, yun yung um, percentage nito. So, paano natin makukuha to guys? Yung value nito. Um, we simply subtract uh, 99.73% minus 95.45%. So, that is about 4.28 divided by 2. So, this becomes 2.14. So, 2.14%. Since symmetrical sila, so, ganun din dapat to. Okay? Kaya nga, normally distributed. 2.14%. Naintindihan ba? Okay. So, ano naman ngayon ang um, measure nito, guys? Or percentage nito? Ayan. So, magsusubrock lang tayo. Since ang total niyan ay 100%, magsubrock tayo dito kay... 99.73 so that is about uh, 0.27 tama okay so divide nyo by 2 so that is about 0.135% okay so 0.135% kasi nga symmetrical sila so dapat kung ano yung percentage dito ganun din sa kabila Gets? So guys, ito, kapag pinag-add uh, natin yan lahat, so ito ay with a total of 100% or equal to 1, yung total area ng uh, normal curve natin. Okay? So, we can use this uh, to solve problems associated with a normal distribution. Okay, let's have an example. Okay, so... Uh, Mag-example tayo, the test scores of a math class with 240 students are distributed nor, uh, normally with a mean of 54 and a standard deviation of 5. Okay? So, the question is, what percentage of the class has a test score between 49 and 59? And another follow-up question, approximately how many students have a test score between 44 and 64. Okay. So, dito guys, i-determine natin yung uh, mean natin. Yung mean natin dito guys, yung symbol natin ay mu. Yan. Ibig sabihin mean, population mean. So, yan ay 54. Tama? Okay. What is our SD? So, ito guys, yung sigma, ibig sabihin, standard deviation. Okay. Yung SD natin dito guys ay we end a uh, standard deviation of 5. So, 5. So, guys, dito, nag-create na ako ng bell shape or normal curve. Ngayon, syempre, di ba, yung mean natin ay nasa center. Tama? Okay. So, i-place natin yung mean natin sa center. So, assuming, ay, wag tayo mag-assume. <laughs> Pangit ang nag-assume. Okay. Approximately, yan. Nice. That's the term. Okay. So, approximately, yung mean natin ay nasa center. Okay. So, this is 54. Right? So, yan yung mean natin. So, sabi dyan, yung SD natin ay 5. So, paano tayo magkakaroon ng numbers dito uh, to the right and to the left? So, madali lang yun guys. Since ang, ang mean natin ay 54, so we can add 5. Okay. Um, dito to the right and minus 5 to the left so 54 plus 5 kasi yun ang SD natin uh, that is 59 right so 59 to okay so 59 syempre 54 minus 5 that is 49 tama okay so, 49 to. So, it's not yet done kasi meron pa tayong mas mababang number, 44. Okay. So, 59 plus 5, that is equal to 64. Okay. So, ganun lang kasimple. Yan, 64. So, symmetrical dapat sila. So, dito mag-minus ng 5 sa 49. Okay. So, 49 minus 5, so that is equal to 44. 
Okay. And minus 5 ulit tayo. That is equal to 39. Tama? Okay. And then, so dito, 64 plus uh, 5. That is equal to 69. Okay. Okay, now, ang gagawin natin dito, since alam naman natin yung empirical rule, tama? Okay. So, dito, since this will be your uh, standard deviation, uh, I mean the mean or mu, yan. So, one standard away or one SD. So, dito naman ay meron tayong 68.268%. Okay. Okay, so yan ay 68.268%. Okay. So guys, ito, kung hati natin yan sa dalawa, sa previous um, discussion natin a while ago, so that is 34 point, so ito ay 34.134, tama? percent. Okay. So, since symmetrical sila, ganun din dapat to. Kasi pag pinag-add natin to, guys, eto, yan, 68.268 percent yun. Gets? Okay. So, ibig sabihin, yung region na to ay 68.268 percent. Okay, next. So, eto naman, guys, kung natatandaan natin kanina, that is 13.268 5.91% Okay, ganun din to 13.591% And ito Okay, 2.14% Okay And ito guys 0.135% Nakuha ba guys? Okay. Kasi pag pinag uh, total natin to, pag pinag add natin lahat 'yan with the total of 100% or the total area is equal to 1. Okay, so ang tinatanong dito guys, since na iplot na natin 'yan. Okay? Uh, what percentage of the class has a test score between 49 and 59? Okay, so ito 'yan guys. Between 49 And 59. What percentage of the class has a test score between 49 and 59? So, we'll know that from 49 to 59. So, ipag-add lang yung dalawa na to, guys. Ibig sabihin, sakop kasi niyan, guys. So, we have, so, sa letter A uh, question natin, the answer is, very good, 68.5. Two six eight percent. Okay, so ibig sabihin the percentage of the class that has a test score between forty nine and fifty nine is sixty eight point two six eight percent. Okay, so that's the answer. Now, sa letter B naman, sabi dito, approximately how many students have a test score between forty four and sixty four? Between 44 and 64. Ang tinatanong, approximately how many students ko, kung ilang estudyante, okay, ang nakakuha ng test score between 44 hanggang 64. Okay. So, ito yung tinatanong natin, guys. So, pag pinag-add natin yan, that is 95.45%. Tama? Okay. So, it's not yet done. Hindi pa yan tapos kasi uh, kinuha pala natin yung percentage nun which is 95.45% times how many students do we have? Okay. So, that is 240 students. Okay. Kasi tinatanong how many students, right? So, 95.45% times 240 students. So, ito ay 
So, express natin in ano to, uh, percent. So, that is 0 0.9545. So, that is approximately 229.08. Siyempre, dapat whole number ang magiging sagot natin. Okay? So, approximately, we have 229. Okay, so approximately 229 students have a test score or test score between 44 and 64. So, ganun lang kasimple. Okay? So, this is the end of our video. I hope na meron kayo natutunan. Thank you for watching.